Go right ahead, sir. Hi guys, I'm Jack Jones, and I'm going to tell you about a summer experience I had. I had the opportunity to work in a lab called He Lab last summer, and what I noticed when I was taking my tour of He Lab is all this awesome technology that I was able to experience. They've got a big oven that you see up on your right there that can cook things with pressure or a, tele or a microscope that can see super tiny particles, and I thought all that technology was amazing. But what was even more amazing about He Lab was their awesome goal. They had the goal of doing microencapsulation, and I know you're all thinking, What's that? Because I was thinking that too when I first heard it. But microencapsulation isn't that complicated if we break it into its components. We have micro, which means very small, and we have encapsulation, which is putting something in something else. So with microencapsulation, we're putting something very small in something else. And we have two reasons for doing that. The first would be stem cells. Stem cells are cells that can become any other type of cell in the body. So they're really useful. Let's say, for instance, someone gets a big burn on their arm. We can help with stem cells. We can make that heal faster. And microencapsulation enhances that process. The other reason is for cancer drugs. Cancer drugs have helped a ton of people overcome their struggle with cancer, but they also have some bad side effects. And microencapsulation can make those side effects less severe. So we've got two really good reasons for using microencapsulation. In this lab, I was really excited about the goal. I was really excited about all the new technology. But it kind of turned out my place in the lab was a little more minuscule than I thought it might be. I ended up making these devices that we call PDMS devices and you can see channels in them, and that's how we do the microencapsulation. So these are entirely essential to the research, but it started to kind of feel like grunt work after a while. I wanted to kind of be on the front lines and start doing something new and innovative. And one day, I got my big chance. I got to make my very own PDMS device in a, sol uh, a software called SolidWorks that you can see here, and I even got to do my own microencapsulations that actually worked really well. And I was really excited about that, but there's still one unsolved problem that we have to deal with. We don't know how to separate the encapsulations from the oil that they're bathed in. Here we can see the oil with the arrows and the encapsulations. And they're always together, but the encapsulations are of no use unless we can separate them from the oil. So I'll leave you with that.